this is the <laughs> so you just step out and smoke one you know the good part is coming up but uh i really appreciate being out here with matthew and uh and uh the band's awesome and i uh, can't wait for y'all to can't wait for y'all to be able to experience it but uh it's an honor to be out here with him on the road let's play a number uh let's pray that put her in a he only responds when I talk to him now. <laughs> <Put her in. laughs> I was preaching in northwest Georgia one time. I was in my young 20s. I drove up the road one time, and I uh, went to this. Uh, do y'all have flea markets here? Is that something they do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we went to a flea market, and uh, this was, you know, this was prior to the internet. And I don't know if y'all remember what it like. I mean, you're at a Matthew Sweet show. You definitely remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, I'm glad. Let, let, I used to drive to high school and I heard Matthew Sweet on the radio, and I was pretty wild being up here open for him. But anyway, you remember back in the day before the internet, if you found some cool shit that was like on a VHS tape or something, it was like worth its weight in gold because, you know, some of that shit was hard to come by. And I went to this flea market one time and I saw this VHS tape called Legends of the Country Blues. And so, I didn't really know nothing about the country blues, but it was only one dollar, and I felt like it was worth one dollar, so I paid uh, the dollar for the VHS tape, and I went back and I watched it, and on that VHS tape, there was a guy named Sun House, and he was a bluesman from the Mississippi Delta, and there was something that I, was very unique about Sun House that made him different than all the other blues artists, and that was that he started out as a Baptist preacher and then became a bluesman. And, uh, you know, of course, I got this when I was a Baptist preacher, too, down there in Georgia. And uh, But, you know, there was a lot of blues artists that started out bluesmen and then became preachers when they was old. But there was only one that I started out a preacher and then went on to become bluesmen. It's a different kind of trajectory, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and uh, so I uh, let, watched that VHS tape over and over and over and over and over again. And then... Um, I, uh, then when the YouTube, when I finally got to YouTube in 2007, when we finally got the high-speed internet down there, I found out it was on the YouTube, so I got to throw that VHS tape away. But anyway, uh, I wouldn't dare call myself a bluesman because I, I got too much respect for it. But whatever I'm doing right now, damn sure ain't preaching. And so this is a song I wrote for Sun House. And uh, it's about fundamentalist Christianity and rock and roll music all living in the same brain at the same time. It's called Preaching the Blues. I hope you like it. Like an old time prophet, and my heart. 
asks all questions Now I just can't stop it uh, Maybe my head needs some rearranging What can I say? I guess them times are to play but I could sing you a hymn like I was dying today and now I've grown so tired of trying to when Sun House played the blues, he played them in a trance. And so there ain't but one thing left for me to do. I'll join Sun House and go to preaching the blues. I'll join Sun House.